If you came across this video, you might be trying to compare two different creative analysis tool. On the one hand, you're looking into Atria, you're trying to see if that's the right one for you with their ad library, with their creative analytics and their AI features. And on the other end, you might be looking into Motion app and you're trying to see which one is best for your business. Well, having profitably generated well over $30 million in e-commerce client revenue and having used both of these softwares extensively, I wanna give you my thoughts in this video and share the key core differences between the two. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know, you know who I am. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com where we help businesses implement a scalable ad engine and grow e-commerce brands to seven figures with paid ads. With that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So if we start by looking into Atria, this is what you are greeted with when you sync one of your meta ad accounts to their platform. So you see general key metrics at the overall account. Top right corner, you can select the dates that you want to look into your stats for. Then you see breakdowns per spend, top creative tags, the top spend spending uh, ads. Then if I scroll down uh, or actually you can also change it by top spending creative. So if you use the same creative in different ads, as an example, it will be able to aggregate the data into different creatives right here. I'm just going to head back on ads here for the sake of it. And then if I scroll down, I'm going to see my top performing ads, creative images, videos, hooks, etc. So if you want to see more data on here, all you got to do is head over to view report and it will show you a, a view that is perhaps very similar to what you would see on the ads manager where you see data again on each and every single ad creative. You can also turn on the ad status to show essentially whether or not this ad is still live right now on the account or if it had been turned off. Now, if I move to motion app, well, you're going to see something similar to this second view that I just showed you. This view again being called the reporting view right here or the system reports on Atria is the default view, if you wish, on motion app. So motion app on the left hand bar, you have folders and then essentially in each of these folders, you have different preset reports that by default motion app is giving you. So these reports are simply reports saved with specific features. So as an example, you would see here the top copy, top landing page, which are just filters set again by default by motion app. So if I open this up right here and I open up some more that you would have by default, they look like the following. So as an example, the top creatives, the top three second video ads. So it shows you, in other words, your top books, top static ads here for creative team. This is kind of a simpler template that I used to have made back then that I still have shown in this video, which is just a custom template with some features that we had. It was easier for our creative follow. And that's about it, honestly. So I'm going to stop myself right here for the first part of the comparison and say whatever Motion App has, Atria has. The opposite is not true, though. So Motion App lives inside of Atria to the extent that they both share the same features. But Atria has a lot of stuff that Motion App does not have. Now, Motion just recently launched a new tab called Creative Research, which you might be used to that if you've used something like Atria or perhaps Foreplay, Magic Brief, and so on and so forth, which is a inspiration or research tool. You can download the extension of motion app on your browser and start saving ads to it, which well, what do you know, this was the core original feature of Atria. Atria allows you if you go to the discovery tab as an example, you can find hundreds, if not thousands of ads right here at your disposal for you to save and you can save these ads or filter them by image video, the theme overall of the ad, the industry, you can use AI essentially to search on the search bar for elements in a video. So as an example, I would want to look for, you know, white man in an ad or I would want to look for oversized t shirts only like I'm seeing on this ad right there, which actually is not something you have on Motion App. Motion App, you're limited to follow brands that are here at your disposal under the brand Intel tab and all the rest. You would have to actually go out, install their extension, go to the Facebook ads library and then download or save the ads from the library. So you don't have as much discovery features as you would have on Atria. Now, going back to some of those creative reports that you get with Motion App, like top creatives, top copy, top landing page here, top hooks, in other words, which is those three second video views. Well, if I go go back to Atria and I look into the default templates that they give you for reporting. I have top spend ads, top spend creatives, top performing ads, top performing creatives. Then I have my top performing statics, top performing videos, top performing copies, headlines and landing pages. Well, what do you know? Pretty similar to what I would see on Motion App. Now let's dive deeper. What I like to see here at a glance with my account overview is the breakdown by spend. I can also change the different metrics here, but I can see at a quick glance the split between different videos, essentially your videos or photos, so, right? So different formats is what I meant to say here. So now I can quickly see, well, which one is performing best? Because if there's more spend and therefore they might be performing better. Same thing here when it comes to demographic, I can quickly see that right here. Same thing when it comes to platform. Am I spending more on IG or Facebook? I can see that. Now, something that is also totally exclusive to Atria is the AI creative tagging. So I can see right here, 
AI is going to analyze my copy, my landing pages, also the elements on my ad creative. If it's a video and it'll tell you what are the angles that you're using the most of. So here we're talking a lot about customization of the client's product, which is true. It's one of our leading angles right now. Then here we're spending a lot of money when it comes to unique fashion statement being unique. So we're talking about repping your city code, repping your airport code, which are all customizable products that our client is selling. Now, playful twist. All right. VIP early access. Well, what do you know? We've been doing a lot of VIP Black Friday, Cyber Monday ads not too long ago, local pride, again, state pride. I just mentioned that charitable giving. That's right. We were talking about giving back to a hurricane support foundation from what happened in the US a few months ago. Now, top emotions, top overarching themes in the ads. And if I scroll down, I got one of the same thing as motion app, which was missing on the default reports, but was the video hooks. So if I go here, I can see my top performing video hooks at a glance. So I can see my top stop ratio and spin for all of my top videos right here. And so the way I see it, and one of the things I had mentioned on the channel, one of the reasons I personally stopped using motion app was simply because most of what they tell you visually looks good and is easier to see, but it all exists on the ads manager. Like none of this is exclusive essentially to motion app. Like all of that could be seen by just setting up your columns the right way on Facebook ads manager. I think the use case of something like motion app is primarily if you're a creative heavy team, like if all you do is creatives and you don't really handle the media buying and you want to limit the amount of information you would see typically on the ads manager to only be narrowed down to the creative side, then I think this is where it makes sense. But then as a comparison, I get the same thing on Atria and the discovery features to see all those ads and the AI features extracting information from my ads. And I also made a whole separate video about it, but you have an AI playground right here where I can upload all of my customer reviews and have it extract some of the creative themes in there. So let me show you an example of that. As an example here, I uploaded about 100 reviews right there and Atria is cleaning up those reviews and using AI to essentially aggregate specific patterns. So what are all the recurring positive features and benefits in my customer reviews, areas of improvement, buy motivations and expectations. If I go to breakdown, what are the main essentially topics and keywords mentioned in those reviews, the percentage used in those keywords, motivation, expectation, so on and so forth. And that once again is something exclusive to Atria. But now I hear everyone already asking me like, what's the difference in pricing? One must be more expensive. Atria is probably going to be a lot more expensive than Motion App is, right? Because it has a lot more features. Well, if I look into Motion App, so they have their free plan, which is the one I just showed you through this video, which basically just limits you to the one report, but you've already seen all the other reports that are available to you through this video, nonetheless. So that one is free again, $0. So that's that. Now there's the pro plan and the growth plan, which in both cases, I can guarantee you I was on them as an agency. And for about five or so ad accounts, I was getting very close to 700 to $1,000 a month purely for motion app again only. Whereas if I go to Atria, they have a basic plan at 39 bucks a month limits you to one account to be analyzed again on there. And essentially you have all the reports though. So all the reports are available for one ad account only. Now talking about five accounts included, which is pretty much what I told you was running me up for close to a thousand dollar when it came to motion app. Well, I have it here for $139 a month when it comes to Atrio. So a hell of a lot cheaper and you get all those extra features and benefits and so on and so forth. Now, if you're an agency, you want a lot more ad accounts, then they have the growth plan here at 250 a month, which again is ridiculous because you get 25 ad accounts right here. So it kind of comes down to about 10 bucks a client account, which again, is just crazy to think about how useful a tool like this one is. And so the use case I make of Atria from an agency standpoint and the use case you can make of it, whether you're an agency, a brand owner or whatnot, is one breaking down your reviews and point pinpointing essentially specific ad angles and ideas that you can use in order to make new creatives like I'm doing here from their AI playground features. Of course, there's the creative analysis feature, which was one of the core points to be discussed in this video, this helps you if you don't want to have the fluff and you don't want to have like all the, the, you know, make your columns on the ads manager and so on and so forth. Well, you can have that displayed much more easily for you here and extract the type of information you would want to see at a glance, like your top hooks, your top copies, your top headlines, your top landing pages and destinations. And you can make sense of all of this data again at a glance when using a tool like Atria. And again, for your creative team, well, they can use that in order to make new and better ad creatives, more iterations, and they can also come here and look into the AI tagging to see, hey, which are our angles working better right now? Like what angles did we make as a creative team that are getting most of the spend right now and therefore most of the accounts results so that I can make new concept from those angles too. And so I truly hope this video was useful to you in comparing both of these tools in software. Now, last but not least, when comparing kind of both of the tools and softwares, Motion App has perhaps been established and known as a bigger name in this space for a little longer, whereas Atria is more so on the come up, but they are now starting to be used by 
by a lot of big names in the space, making a name again for themselves. And I think they're worth looking into. So I hope this was a useful video for you when comparing both options. I'm going to leave a link for you down below to check them out. Now, with that being said, if you made it all the way through, you are an e-commerce brand owner wanting to partner with a paid ads partner on Meta, Google and or TikTok. Check out a description down below to book in a call with myself and the team at paidadvertising.com. Now, if you simply want myself to personally review one on one with you, your ads, your product, business, landing page, name it and help you scale your paid ads on a consulting basis, check out one of the links down below to join our ad engine one on one consulting program. On that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. Check out other free videos on the channel for some more useful marketing tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.